That's so cheap, man. I almost want to go through some of Yun's normals in Ganajin and see what is actually punishable with parry. And even then, he can chain into other normals, so it just makes it a mess. Ah, oh, that is it. Okay, quick, quick experiment with Yun. Let's look at Yun, who has Ganajin activated and then gets parried while they are in Ganajin. Minus six, minus three, minus three, minus three. Ah, minus three is tough, man. Okay, here, here's the here's the ultimate ombre. We're gonna make them do throw, and then I'm gonna see if I can interrupt their throw with another attack. So I do down medium punch, and then let's say I try to jump away. Oh! No way. I don't like that. <gasps> what? Punk was right. This game sucks. Respectfully, this game's trash. <laughs> Hold on, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What if they do commit to something? I mean, the young player is not gonna jump after they do that, right? Okay, let's see if I do. Oh, look, it actually beats it if I do a attack into an attack. Okay, that, that's a little little something something there. But if I'm too far away, the throw's gonna whiff, right? Not bad, not bad. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, how much is this? Plus 15? No way. No way. Look at this. 17. 13. 7. 7. Plus 3. This is usually punishable. Wish. <sighs> Hugo has decent defense against good agent because he has good throw range. Here's the key. It's, it still doesn't excuse any of his behavior, right? But what you gotta do is make Yun want to command grab you. The longer he takes to get the command grab off, the less damage he's going to do with the command grab. Because the command grab damage towards the later parts of the Ganajin, it's not going to do much damage at all. Still gives him a good amount of meter, which sucks. He's going to build like nearly half a bar with the Ender. But it's mitigating so much damage if you just accept the command grab. One more thing is you want to look for the overhead as well. The overhead does not benefit from the Ganajin as far as the frame advantage. It seems like the overhead is one frame faster, but the universal overhead is still not advantageous. This is the thing you got to look out for the most. The toward medium kick overhead, eh, actually minus four as well, but that is faster than the also oh, same speed. What did they do? It's safer than the universal overhead. But these are pretty much the main things you got to look for. Easier said than done. The universal overhead actually will be slower if they space it correctly. So that's what you really got to look for. For like a pause in his offense. It's not that great. Because even though he's minus whatever he is, he's still faster. That's crazy. Look at the startup on these normals too. This is now three frames. <laughs> Uh, so, okay, the, the, the thing I really wanted to demonstrate, if you can get the young player to want to command grab, you can make a read on his timing, right? And because you have so much frame disadvantage, that means you also have a lot of throw involved. You have a lot of throw involved because you have to recover from block stun and then you have six frames of throw involved. So that means if you mash throw, he can't command grab you. So. I'm going to program Hugo to do a throw as a reversal, and I'm going to try to command grab him after it. I will not be able to do it. It's not going to work. Fortunately for Hugo, he has a lot of throw range, so that helps a lot in this scenario. But if you can get Yun to do a predictable timing on his command grab, you can answer this with a guess throw or like a guess fast normal. Don't you? Yeah, I mean, it's risky. Yep. It is bad. It sucks, but it is an option. Car command grab is not going to make a difference. It's because you just don't have the time allowed to throw him. You're still going to be covered by throw involved. But that's pretty much it. And uh, 
obviously the problem is if you just keep doing this idea, you're eventually going to hit them doing a throw. Actually kind of hard to interrupt this. And even if you just wait, you're going to be able to hit them when they guess with their throw. So, I mean, so to me, the key to Ganesian defense is to look for the overhead, accept the command grab and try to convince your friendly young neighbor to do more command grabs like they need to command grab these and then find the time to guess against it preemptively and yep it sucks it sucks